What's up guys, Timothy's Gaming here. Today I'm making another server tutorial or a server plugin tutorial. And this is the second video of the series and today I'll be doing a uh, group manager tutorial which is one of the permissions plugins. With this per uh, plugin you can add ranks to your server, what plug what permissions they get, so what commands they can use, and individual player permissions. And then you can also inherit uh, commands from other ranks. It, most of you don't know what that means since you are on this video looking up how to use it. The, don't worry, it's not not that hard. I'll explain everything in the video. <clears throat> so let me go to my test server real quick. Okay, so I'm up, right? And, and all these server owners who want to add ranks, this is the command. For example, you have a faction server, let's say. <clears throat> you have a default rank which is the rank that people get when they join and you then you have like donation ranks right <clears throat> so let's say you want your first donation rank to be hero right so that would be your first donation rank then let's make that the next one mang add by the way it's man g stands for group add so you're adding a group and let's make it ultra hero right so <clears throat> right now if I do who is to uh, I can't really check here but basically if I type I am a regular player default and right now I will show you how you can promote somebody so let's say he donated right and if you guys use Minecraft or engine it will all be made automatically uh, like on the website you'll put you put this in menu add the player and new group so basically and it says right there see so menu add and also if you have like um, different worlds like if you want to make them in the nether you, you will do menu add to his three whatever whatever and then world Nether. Okay. So I would just do a new item for sweet hero. So right now I'm a hero. Then you could just do ultra hero. It's basically how the hell I spell incorrectly. Ah, oh, I spelled ultra hero. Enjoy. Uh, I can't speak today. I spelled ultra hero wrong. Ultra hero. And man, by the way, Mangdel, which is also a command, <coughs> makes you remove a group. So, what the here, which I misspelled. <coughs> so, menu add Timothy at 63 Ultra Hero. Now, I'm an Ultra Hero. Now, I'll show you how to add a prefix or a suffix. So, let me first go to default again. And the, com the, perm the command is men g mang add v which is variable and then you do the group name which is default then you write prefix or suffix i'll change the prefix and then you could use color codes like if you know the color codes are you should look them up so we'll just make it pretty simple just member so now i'm a member as you can see and as you can you could also add individual uh, prefix and suffixes for like donators. As you can see, if I do menu add three hero, I won't have it anymore. But I can also do menu add v, not mang add v, but menu add, which stands for user. Man user add variable Timothy prefix, and just write something like awesome. As you can see, I'm awesome. And also, the user prefix overrides the group prefix. So if I do, if I put myself back to default, I'll still have the awesome prefix. You can always delete it by doing mang del, oh no, menu add, man, menu del, since it's user, v, pre, uh, 253, and prefix. Now I'm a regular member. Let's just quickly add a prefix. For a hero, mang add v hero 
prefix. Let's make it hero. And now it has a prefix. Let's do the same the same thing with ultra hero. And let's make it bold. Sorry about that. As you can see, I'm ultra hero. <coughs> and now I'll show you how to add perms. So let me put myself back to default. As you can see, I'm a member. This is the command. Mang. If you always work with group, if you're working with groups, it's always mang. Mang add and then p, which is for permission. Mang add p, default, just a group, and then the permissions. So let me say that I want them to have essentials. And you'll have to look, you, if you don't know about permissions, you have to look them up. Just search up essentials permissions or whatever plugin permissions you're using. Look them up. I memorize most of them. So let's say I want them to have essentials MLTD, essentials. Mm, chat color essentials uh, fly right and you have to use this as this is just like examples so if I de up myself as you can see I can't get what oh I know why so I have to remove my star perm which is for up O oh, commands menu del p star. As you can see now, I can't. But well, as you can see, I could fly now because I gave the permission. So I can't really do anything else. I can't do guard, can't do GMC, game mode, message, can't do any of that. But I could fly. I could type with colors. And I could just see the MLTD. Okay, so let me just quickly up myself. Crap. Okay. Um. So now since I up myself, I can do all those commands again. God. GMC. So now let's put myself into a hero, <clears throat> and let's add uh, some perms to hero. So mang add p hero. Essentials God. Okay, so now we will be up ourselves and we could do God. Now, let me quickly up myself. Let me put myself into Ultra Hero and let's give ourselves a perm, not ourselves, but Ultra Hero Essentials Game Mode. So now, if I be up myself. The game mode survival, game mode adventure, game mode creative. But what you guys don't know is that how I added the MOTD, the fly, the color chat, the god to the previous ranks, I can't do them here. You know why? Because I didn't set inheritance. And I'm about to show you how to do that. So let's say we want hero rank to have all the commands from members so you don't, you, you don't have to put all the perms back in to make it easy so I do mang add i so man group add inheritance hero which is the higher rank and then default so we want the rank hero to have everything from default and we want everything from ultra hero uh, we want everything we want ultra hero to have everything from hero so now if I de-up myself, I'm still ultra hero, I can now do MOTD, fly, fly, color chat, god, <coughs> let's see, now I can just up myself, now, <coughs> you can also give individuals these things, so let's say, I donated, and I want to give myself the ability to, um, I don't know, do uh, enchants, right? So I do 
not enchant, sorry, it's better. Yeah, whatever, enchant. So, menu, add, man, user, add p, permission. To move 63, essentials, enchant, and we just add all these because. So, basically, now, even if I de-opt myself, I will have all the ultra hero com commands or the rank that I'm in and my own enchant. So, I I'll just do enchant. Alright, no. I'm breaking five. Okay, what's up? So, here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to get it. Just let me get it. I'm showing you. I'm showing you real quick. And as you can see, it works. Now, if I was another player, it wouldn't work for me because it's just for the user, Timothy Q3. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, for group manager, you cannot add like inheritances from player to user. I mean, from user to group and group from to user. I don't know why. Like, like I want a player to have the inheritance of two groups. I mean, you don't really need to, but if you wanted to, if it was a year for you, you would want to do that. But I don't really need to, but I guess you, you can do that. I think Pex can do that, but I don't really like Pex. I use Group Manager. Um, and like I said, you could add like prefixes just for yourself. For example, if for example, I'm Ultra Hero, right? I donated for Ultra Hero. And I also, got, I also donated for like a special rank. I... But it just gives you like a uh, prefix or a suffix. I'll just do man user add v to move 863 suffix suffix, not prefix, which comes afterwards. Uh, I don't know. Mega donator. As you can see, only my player will have that. Well, um, it's pretty much all. I have I went over with you in game uh, let's go look into the config okay so in the config we have the backup folder which you shouldn't touch the world's folder the config that YML and the global groups YML uh, I don't think you should touch global groups YML it just makes it like more complicated I think well I don't use I don't really use global groups YML I just used config by. I'll show you right now. <clears throat> so this is the thing that you want to look at. For example, if you have like a regular factions world and you don't want like different worlds to have different users and groups, you just leave it like this. But for example, if you added a new world, for example, like I don't know, like mini games, you would write, you would go here, got a backspace, and you would write mini games. And if you want the users to be the same, with the same permissions and stuff, you would write users. And if you want the groups to be the same, you would write groups. But since we don't have that world, I'll just put it back. Basically, you don't have to touch anything else. I don't think you should like need anything. Then there is worlds. If you would uh, delete all all this, then the world nether world the end would like appear here in all the other world folders but since there aren't everything here will be like already copied into the other worlds automatically so let's look at the groups so as you can see there's the moderator rank the owner rank the builder rank the admin rank which already come with the server like which when you download the plugin they already automatically like come here look they already appear so th these are the ranks that we got right default as you can see Essentials chat at color fly MOTD and there is Hero God and then there is ultra hero game mode And as you can see you can edit you can edit it in here, but I would, I would recommend editing it in game because it's much easier and like uh, Can't make a mistake uh, As you can see There is a hero and here says the prefix same prefix as it, it would be in game how we edited it. Uh, build false, just leave everything as false unless it's a admin or owner or higher rank. As you can see here, inheritance default. So everything in this rank would have the same as everything in default. Plus, uh, 
plus this, plus all these permissions. As you can see here, it's Ultra Hero Game Mode. Uh, the inheritance from Hero, and you don't have to, you don't have to write inheritance default because it's already inherited into Hero, and that is inherited into here, so it's like you don't really have to do that. Um, to show you that this works, I will add essentials that chat dot format and essentials that chat that magic. So you save it. It's in here now. You just like so. Right now, I am ultra user, ultra hero. So I de up myself and. <clears throat> I can only do colors, right? I cannot do like bold colors. See, it won't let me. But if I reload, which I just put in the chat uh, format and magic, oh crap, let me just reload from here. It will. I will be able to do it. So, colors. As you can see, it's bold. I can also do this K, which is the magic. Yeah, so this is pretty much it for the group manager plugin. I hope you enjoyed the video. If I left something out, please uh, comment in the comments below. If you want me to do a, a tutorial on another plugin, please tell me in the comments below. I almost know everything about a lot of plugins. I had over 10 servers. I know a lot about the plugins. Tell me in the comments below what I should post videos about. My server having craft, the IP is in the description below. Check it out. It's a really fun server. Uh, so please leave a like, subscribe, share this video, and thank you guys for watching. See ya.